Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be reviewing the, the new JC Cosmetics eyeshadow palette named Oliva. We're going to be doing some swatches, a makeup tutorial and also giving you my thoughts about this palette if it's worth you getting it. So if you're interested in this video keep on watching and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's get started with this review. I'm actually very excited to make a review on this palette. JC Cosmetics is an indie brand, and I've been loving her eyeshadow palette since I tried Amor a la Mexicana. That palette got me hooked up on them, and I can't stop buying every new release. I'm not gonna say that all of her palettes have been my favorite, but I am always so intrigued by her color theme, the design of the palettes. So over Overall, it is a good indie brand that I've been loving and loving more and more. So when I saw that they're gonna release this new palette called Oliva, I was like, I need to get it. I need to get a review on it. It is just such a beautiful fall palette. Look at the design of this palette. It's so beautiful. Just like all of their other palettes, they have beautiful designs. And also what I like is that the design is also on the box, so I really don't throw this boxes away just because I like to display them or I just like to keep the palette inside the box just to keep them nice and pretty that is just me if you want to throw the box away it's okay but it is such a beautiful design so I will definitely be displaying this palette somewhere back there once I get a like a little stand it is a very beautiful palette. It is thin enough for storage. When you open it, it does have a very good decent mirror where you can do your makeup. And this is the color theme of the palette. I love all the greens, the oranges, and some deep purples in there, which this makes a great fall palette. I do use palette space on the season, but if you're not that kind of person, it's okay. You can use this palette any day of the year is just such a beautiful and inspiring color theme especially for me during this fall times i do want to mention this is not a first review i've been playing with this palette for the past couple days i wanted to play with the colors and the textures and the formula to see if it's a good palette this palette does retail for $39.99 that means that you'll be paying a dollar and 33 cents per shade it is 100% vegan and cruelty free and this palette does come with 14 mattes, 9 shimmers, 4 glitters, 2 dual chromes and 1 metallic. You can only purchase this palette through the JC Cosmetics website. So let's go ahead and swatch this beautiful palette and then we'll go over my thoughts about it. All right, so let's start off by the formula in this palette. Overall, it has a great formula, great pigmentation and blendability, very long lasting. I like the formula in this palette. It's not a disappointment. It really does remind me of the formula that I fell in love with Amor a la Mexicana. So overall, the formula in here is so beautiful, blendable, soft. The glitters in here are very dry to touch, so you really have to pat them on your eyelid if you want them to show i do recommend that finger is the best application and definitely use a glitter glue if you are not a fan of glitters this palette does have four of them so that might be something you're not interested in 
I don't mind the glitters. I like them. I do like using the glitter here and there just to make my look a little bit extra dramatic or extra sparkly. I like them. But, but like I said, it does come down to just a personal preference. There is a little bit of fallout with the shadows, but nothing too crazy. I don't mind. This palette does come with two duochromes. It doesn't specify on their side which shade it is, but I'm just going to go based on what I've been swatching and using. So the first one will be this cream one. It is a very beautiful wide with a green undertone. This is actually what I'm using in my inner corner today. Very beautiful shade. I will say that of all the shades, this is the one that I really enjoy. You can use it as a topper also. It really gives your look a whole different like vibe and I really have enjoyed it a lot. And I'm assuming that the other one might be this called Rose Oro, which is like a rose gold color. You can see it's like um, coppery and it does have like that rose undertone. Very beautiful shade, very buttery. So I'm assuming these are the two duochromes when it comes to this palette. I think this is the first palette that has duochromes because I have the Amor a la Mexicana and I have the Fantasy palette. And none of them have shades like this. So I was very happy when I read that they have two duochromes. Great formula. They blend amazingly. Would I recommend this palette? Yes, it is a very beautiful palette with great formula. I love this palette for the fall and winter. I have created endless amount of looks and all of them look great. They do perform well throughout the day. So the pigmentation is there till the end of the day. And believe me when I tell you, they last throughout the day. I apply my makeup at 7 a.m. in the morning and I don't remove it until like 8 p.m. And I can still see every shade on my eyelid. So great formula, great pigmentation. Like I said, you can wear this palette any time of the year. But if you're like me, they use this makeup based on the season. This is a great add-on to your collection for the fall and winter. Great formula, great palette from an indie brand. Congrats to JC Cosmetics on coming out with this beautiful, beautiful palette. So if you've been eyeing it, I highly recommend it. It is a great palette from JC Cosmetics. Alright everyone, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my review on the new JC Cosmetics Oliva Eyeshadow Palette. Let me know in the comments below. Are you planning on getting this palette? Do you already have it? Have you enjoyed it as much as I have? And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and you like my content, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!